Hello again, it's me, Andrew Washman, back again with another video. Today I'm back to this uh, man who claims that flight paths and things, and those certain flights, you know, the um, altered flights, prove that the Earth is flat. But this time he's come up with another one, because I was pointed out by a guy who followed my channel. I will point you out in... I will... Sorry if I've forgotten your name, but I will uh, mention you in the um, video information. Um that he's got a new video up as a, as it shows here that four commercial airplane crashes that prove the earth is not a globe now i've done my kind of things on this but i think he's got slightly mixed up with two things right a what a great circle flight is b the difference between a globe and a mercado map and i will show you that uh, as time goes on so um, first off let's just see let's just um um, go through this video and there are some similar things he talks about here because you probably will see Neil deGrasse Tyson pop up in his video any moment so we'll see how that goes <sighs> here we go uh, no Yeah, most planes do travel on a flight on a straight path. They do that on a globe too. Great circles are not hoaxes, and I will explain that in due time. And uh, would you like to talk to you about five commercial airliners that went down and they left a trail? Like when everything happens, you know, they all leave a trail. And we will look at those trails to see the path of their flights and the routes and the way they were flying. So before we start this video, it's very important that you watch this 30 seconds video that I will play. The Earth is an oblate spheroid. An oblate spheroid is formed by rotating an ellipse around its minor axis, forming an equator along its major axis. And the Earth is formed this way because of its rotation. Earth, throughout its life, even when it formed, it was spinning, and it got a little wider at the equator than it does at the poles. So it's not actually a sphere, it's, an, it's oblate, and officially it's an oblate spheroid. Okay, now that you have watched it, you have seen that uh, the true shape of the Earth, according to the people who believe in the globe, is not even a globe. So it's kind of difficult for me to talk about uh, a flat Earth against uh, the globe Earth, because according to the theory, the Earth is not even a globe, it's an oblate. Okay. That's a rather extreme oblate spheroid. That's more of an oval. Actually, in fact, that probably reminds me more of an egg shape, to be quite honest with you. Now, it's quite convenient that most flat earthers, every single time they show that Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, bit, they fail to add in the rest of it, where he does mention that the oblateness is extremely small. Extremely small. But it's enough to knock it out of being a sphere. So, an oblate spheroid. This is an extreme oblate spheroid. Very extreme. The Earth is a very slight oblate spheroid. You're just taking it to the extreme to make, you know, yourself sound better and to make, you know, normal people sound better. Um, sound worse, I mean. And this is the problem, is that you cherry pick and you make up stuff. This is not what he meant when the Earth was an oblate spheroid. So it becomes kind of confusing to talk about for them to, uh, for right. this flattened and chubby, okay? Very slightly, extremely slightly. Flattened and chubby. So everything changes. I also... Yeah, that's not what the Earth looks like. 
That's not what they're saying it looks like at all. That is not an oblate spheroid. That's a oval if I've ever seen one. So you know also that uh, from flying on a plane from point A to point B, the shortest way is a straight line. Okay. Yeah. So if those if these flights are flying a straight line, a straight path, it means they can only be flying on a plane. No, absolutely not. So let's look at this first flight. Air France 447. Have you post this picture uh, on the screen for you all to see? Yeah, Rio de Janeiro to Paris. Okay, this is the path that this plane was flying. This is according to uh, GPS data from previous flight. It's like a weekly flight and according to the black box as well. When I heard this flight when uh, crashed in the Atlantic, I, I was like watching and trying to uh, get as much information as possible. Not only in English, but specifically in Portuguese, which is the language that they speak in Brazil and the language that I speak. So one of the captains uh, from the Air, Brazilian Air Force involved in the investigation and, uh, so I will be skipping through a little bit because he does talk quite some bit. If the Earth were a globe, that would not be the case. That, w that is and that was a straight flight from Rio to Paris. And if you look here, either way, it doesn't matter if you look on the uh, globe or not, from Rio to Paris, it is a straight flight, a straight path. Okay, straight path here. Hang on a minute. You just said that would that won't be the case if the Earth was a globe, but you just showed on your little inflatable model here that that is that it is a it is a straight line. So what are you arguing about? Okay, I'll demonstrate this. Look, let's go onto the Mercator map. It's a bit of a curved line, All right? But go on to this. Go on to a globe. It's a straight flight, perfect straight flight. So this whole notion that if if it's a straight flight, they have to be on a plane, is complete bull. You're making that up. All right. Next one. I'll delete that. So let's look at the second one. Uh, we also uh, post this picture there for you to see. Well, let's talk about the Metrojet flights that was flying from to uh, St. Saint, Saint Petersburg. St. Petersburg to down there. This is the path, okay? Straight straight path from south of Egypt up to St. Saint Petersburg in Russia. Now, what, ha what was happening here is that because of conflicts in the Sinai Peninsula, they were avoiding, they were avoiding the conflicts in, in the Sinai Peninsula, and then uh, the same thing over Ukraine. Right now, if they were really flying like a great circle, that's not a great circle flight, though. But they were not. This is a straight flight. And you can only fight uh, a straight flight over a flat plane. There is no questions about it. No, that's not true. Here's that flight. Curved here, St. Petersburg to Shamel uh, um, Le Chic. Right? On the globe model, perfect straight line. This flight is a perfect straight line. So I don't know what, what they did on that one to do what they did, but it is a straight flight. Maybe they ignored and just went straight, you know. But this whole notion that the flight path has to be perfectly straight and it's only possible on a flat plane is complete bull. What I am suggesting you think he's doing is when you look at it from kind of this angle. Oh, I lost it there. You know, it curves like, you know, well, I can't get a whole picture of it. Curves that. But the thing is, 
from there to there on a sphere, they will be flying the same height of the, from the ground because of gravity through potential energy and kinetic energy. So it will be going up and down and it will basically uh, achieve what is perceived to be level flight. So it won't be arcing downwards or upwards or whatever it is that these flight earthers seem to think they should be doing. That's complete horseshit. See, look, again, I've just showed here that it is a perfect flight, and this is on a globe. And it's going through the same places that his, his flights are going through. Goodness me. Right, that's that done. Next flight that we were talking about, uh, it happened not long ago, a couple months ago. It was a flight going from Santa Cruz, Bolivia to Medellin, Bogota. You may remember this, uh, the story of the Brazilian soccer team that uh, the whole team died because of... Yeah, it was a sad event, that was. ...the airplane crash. Okay, it went down, and... But it, you, so you so according... British aerospace. So, the flight was going from Santa Cruz, Bolivia, to Medellin, and they were only 18 miles away from their... Uh, destinations which is the really sad thing but look you know perfect straight flight here but I don't understand where he's going with this but we'll see where it goes it was en route from Santa Cruz Bolivia to Medellin Colombia when it crashed about 18 miles from its destination Rip now what he fails to mention is like that probably little graphic probably wasn't zoomed in on a Mercator map it was probably zoomed in on a digital model of the globe but, you know, we don't know that for certain. So, one more time, you see that those planes were not flying curved or arced at all. They are not. They, they fly pretty much in a straight path. And uh, what I have found is that, in theory, they all do. That's why when you get a magazine, you see all those arcs around. But uh, the data shows that's not what they are doing. They are really flying a straight flat, a straight path. Yeah, but you're forgetting the point again. Look, here's this flight path. Santa Cruz, sorry, um, sa um, Santa Cruz, Bolivia, to Medellin and Antioquia. Uh, I I'm not even going to, 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 to Medellin here. So this is on a globe, but if I do, you know, if I put this onto the Makeda map, look, it's a big curved arced line. But then I project that onto a globe, it's a perfect straight line. Again, that's another one. He's he's not looking into this enough. So uh, the last flights that I will talk about, and this is really, really important. Be why? Because when I drew my line from London down here to Pakistan, when I drew this line, people were saying like, why did you draw? Uh, why did you draw a straight line? Because you should have drawn a great circle line, which no, a great. It will only appear curved as a great circle line on a Mercator map. It would go over Moscow and would make sense, okay? Yes, but look, when you look at the data from the flight image image seventeen, you see that. This airplane was also flying a straight line. Yes, okay. Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur. You know, it wasn't hiking at all. If this airplane was really performing a great circle because the flight was from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur, that would have to be a great circle. If, if we were on a ball, that would have to be. But it was not. You see those lines, the, these lines show, show that how these flights are really flying straight. And we don't know. We, can, we only know when an, an accident happens. Horseshit. Right, okay, look. Here's Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur. Okay, I think, hope I got the right flight path here. Let me check. because the flight was from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur 
there would have to be a great circle. Oh, that's probably where that's probably where we're missing. Yeah. If if we will have we have access to. Okay. So it's a perfect straight line. But if you put that onto a, onto a Makeda map, it's a big arcing circle. Some of them probably greater than others. Okay. Some of them probably um, larger than others. Okay. You know, so this might not be a true representation of the actual flight path. But again, look what it looks like on, you know, the, the sphere. Let's, like, let's, let's just do this a different way then. Let's, let's remember where Amsterdam is now. So let's go to Kuala Lumpur. Let's take away the flight path. So let's do measure distance. And let's go back to Amsterdam and click on there. Right, that is a big arcing circle, but when I put it onto the onto the sphere, straight line, all intents and purposes. When you're looking at it from a certain angle, you know that's a f straight path. So again, he's not he's looking at flight paths in the wrong way. the The pictures that he most likely had were just telemetry from point A to point B. They that the, they were probably just showing not the actual flight path but where the flight ended up and just drew a line he's not he's only looking at things on a on a Makeda map not a globe which is where he's going wrong so the great circle uh, in theory yes you see on when you uh, when you get a brochure and you see some travel advertisements you see some curved lines okay but that's only on paper it's not what's really happening. You know, those flights are flying straight path. And we only know when, when a tragedy like this happens. And then, among your... See, another oblate spheroid, but an extreme I case. And I think straight lines over the Pacific. Well, look at these photos. Look at what the airlines are doing. See again, straight line essentially, but as you can clearly tell from this picture, due by angles, this is a zoomed in like digital model of the globe, not using a Makeda map, which is why it's straight. Again, that's kind of arced, but again, these probably aren't showing actual legitimate flight paths, but mainly just the destination and the route in between. Just simple kind of a visual representation of the flight path. Again, for example, these are just um, a visual representation of the flight. Basically from point A to point B. It's not showing the actual flight. And I would like to point out that this is on a Makeda map. Okay, If you drew these straight lines on your flat earth map they would be going through diff completely different places which is one thing you haven't noticed again these are just showing a simple representation of the destination point A to point B and the same thing here he's nitpicking here Seeing a provincial flight over the Pacific. Again, most likely same thing. And you don't want us to believe that this is what it, it's happening. Now, you should not write me. You should write all these government agencies and airlines and, and ask them why they are showing wrong information. Because this is not happening. But this, it is. This, this is not happening. But that's what they are telling us that happened all the time. I mean, uh, so don't blame me. You should go ahead and, and you know, contact all the government agencies and airlines. Let's um, just keep on going here. So, like, this is probably one flight path now from Tokyo to Japan. This is a Makeda map, quite obviously, okay? So I can't remember which one I drew on here. So that's something else, something else. Okay, so on this map here, 
I drew um, used a map. It's not as extreme as let's say this one, but all intents and purposes it is pretty much the same. It might be an extreme map, okay? So this is from Tokyo, Japan to Mexico City. Continue what he says about this for a second. Stands on the globe. I mean, come on, okay, Mexico City to Japan, you're going all the way over here, it's, it doesn't make sense on the globe. It only makes sense on the flat Earth map, right? That's, it doesn't make sense. And, and, you know, Mexico City to Japan, you have to go all the way through Alaska. Mexico City, I'm not talking about San Francisco, Los Angeles, Mexico City. Uh, so nothing is flying over the Pacific, nothing, because there's no way. There are no great circles. It's just that no commercial flights ever flights fly over the Pacific unless they are flying to remote islands or New Zealand. Well, that's a pile of bull, as you said from your thing, right? Let me just show this. Here is what I drew a uh, thing on, okay? The, the concept of the great circle is to save time on a globe. Now, if I basically drag this down... Keep an eye on here, right? This is nearest makes a difference, 7,000 miles. But let's be specific, 7,014 miles. If I drag this line down to make it straight, right? Well, that's obviously not straight, but, you know, but you'd think that this would, you know, um, decrease the distance, Okay? Look how much that's increased there by about 350 miles. Okay, let's just do this. Let's do this another way. Let's clear measurements. Let's go to Tokyo, Japan. Measure distance. Right, let's just click, click, do, 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 and do. Okay. Let's just keep this nice and tidy so I can get a decent kind of result out of this. So that's a straight line, right? That's 7,600 miles. And you'd think, because it's a straight line, not an arced curve, that it would be a shorter distance. But that's not, that's not correct at all, right? So let's do this again. Let's do measure distance. Measure distance. But this time, let's... Click straight on Japan, uh, Tokyo, because it comes up with the Great Circle flight. Okay. Oops, is it? Click on there, and there we go. Look, it does the Great Circle flight. And look at that. It's 400 miles less. Now, why did you miss that? So now look. Look at that curve. Look how big arced it is. Let's go onto the globe. Brilliant straight line. And it's going through exactly the same part of land that it is. So it doesn't change where the line goes, it's just projecting it onto the globe. So it's a perfect straight line. Again, all of his issues with flight paths is because he's looking at the wrong type of map. He's looking at a Mercator map, not a globe. Things change when you put it onto a globe. And like I demonstrated... Oops, Daisy. Like I demonstrated, when the flight path went from point A to point B... It was 400 uh, plus miles longer than this big curved arc. Now that wouldn't make sense on this, but because these distances are measuring actual distance and measuring it as the great circle um, on the Earth projection. If the Earth was actually this shaped, literally this shaped, yeah, this route would be longer. But because it's not, it's on a sphere, there we are. You know, it's just it's easy as this. It, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It's crossing, nothing is crossing the Atlantic, uh, the Pacific. Nothing. When you go to Asia, and it gets really crazy because I was looking at some flights from Lima, Peru. Got some friends here. Let's say someone is flying from Lima. Okay, he can't fly and like stop over here in Hawaii and then continue. There's no way, they don't do it. Because according to this map here, you have North America, Hawaii is right here, and Asia is over there. So they will not going to fly like this. 
it goes straight up. And uh, in my case, that I've flown uh, Sao Paulo, LA, 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 Japan. Right? That's how you go around the world. Japan, Dubai, Dubai, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Okay? This is how you fly around the world, like this. Right? All right, okay, let me... Uh... Uh, when flying, specifically from here, nothing... Let me do these now as a actual flight path. Let me put them on as flight paths as he puts them on. So nothing is flying over the Pacific, nothing, because Let's there's no this. way. Let's just clear all this up and do it the way he does. Oops, Dizzy. Now what's going on here in Asia? As I told you, there is no great circle there. Nothing is crossing. Nothing is crossing the Atlantic. Uh, Which we know that not to be true. Pacific, nothing. When you go to Asia, and it gets really crazy, because I was looking at some flights from Lima, Peru. We've got some friends here. Let's say someone is flying from Lima. Okay, he can't fly and like stop over here in Hawaii and then... Let's do his uh, flight around the world, okay? And uh, in my case, that I've flown uh, Sao Paulo, LA. Sao Paulo. San San Paulo. So Los Angeles. Let's just say LA. So let's do measure distance. So let's go from LA. 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 Japan. Right. right. So LA to Tokyo. All right, so there's the another great circle flight again. This is how you go around the world. Japan, Dubai. Japan, Dubai. So let's just say like, you know, and then go from there to there. That's another big, big arc there, right? Dubai, Sao Paulo, Brazil, okay? Sao Paulo, Brazil. So Sao Paulo, Brazil, all the way over there. Oopsie daisy. That was a bit of a problem. Didn't mean to do that. Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is how you fly around the world, like this. Right? Uh, when remember. flying, specifically from where here, he started. crossing the Atlantic. So I'm going to go back to, let's say... Where did he start from? I think he started from, let's say, about here. So again, that doesn't look like much of a flight path. Let's just see what it looks like. You know, I think some of my measurements could probably be, some of my placements could be a little bit better. But again, look, see, this flight is pretty much... You know, thing like you said, you can't. There's not. There is around the world, and that is intents and purposes around the world. You know what I mean? It looks a bit discordant there, but it's not really a perfect circle because 
his flights weren't a perfect circle because they can't be because he was doing dirt jagged things so they're not they can't be perfect circles they can't be but like i said most of the ones i showed there look from literally from Where's this place? Right from here. To that was Brazil. That was Sao Paulo, Brazil. From Sao Paulo, Brazil. All the way to Tokyo, Japan. Is near dense in purposes a fucking straight line. So it all depends on where I had him go before. And then look. All the way to Sao Paulo, Brazil all the way to essentially back to Tokyo is a straight line. You see? See what the problem is here? Pretty much all the way from Sao Paulo, Brazil all the way to Tokyo, Japan is in the intensest purposes a straight line. Tokyo, Japan all the way to Sao Paulo, Brazil the other way is a straight line. Again, it looks like pretty much probably a big diamond shape on here. So again, that's how you go around the world. Look at that, straight over the Atlantic in the uh, Alaska again. Where is the hill of water? There should be a mountain of water here. Okay, because if you look, again, if you look on the globe, okay, let's put the globe right here. And do the same thing here, flying from Rio to Paris, this blue line right here. Okay, Atlantic Ocean. Where is that hill of water right there? Okay, I should be able to look. I, I should be able to look at the window and see this mountain of water right there. Where is it? Right? Mountain of water? What the bloody hell are you talking about? No, you're the same height from sea level. You're the same flight. If you looked out the window, you'd just see ocean. You're not going to see a big curve of ocean. This, this is, again, you're, you're getting the scale of the Earth completely mixed up. Never mind. Ugh, I'm sick and tired of that. Now, if you talk about an oblate earth... Okay, that's bloody stupid it's not that oblate for goodness sake that's even worse because this equator line here should be you know like it should really be visible so when you're flying let's say from South America okay he's just gonna get into silly bits here but I'm gonna go like you know let's just say I think he did another flight here look from you know this was the Air Malaysia flight I think he does later um, from Netherlands to Malaysia. It's a big circle, I don't know, again, um, big uh, curve here. Then when you go onto a globe, perfect straight line. You see, he's all of his problems come from looking at this. Again, look, see, now I'm looking at this. This is a great circle, as you can clearly tell from this, right? This representation here, right? This is a great circle flight. Funnily enough, this is actually a lot shorter than doing it the other way. Kid you not, right? This distance right here is 4,061 miles. If I clear measurements and do it the other way, so let's go measure distance. Five thousand two hundred and fifteen miles. Okay, so clear measurements go from measure distance from here to here. That's three thousand eight hundred ninety-five. That's a thousand miles less, or way more. That's you know more depending on where you're traveling to. Now that's a big arc. This is the Great Circle. But look what happens when I go onto the globe. It's a perfect straight line this is what these great circles are these great circles essentially um were done to save time you are looking at them 
on a Makeda map, not a globe. This is where you are going wrong. And it's astonishing that you haven't noticed that yet. It's unbelievable. And people are just eating this up. I mean, ODD reality, my comment right there. Many of the flat earthers, because Russian vids actually posted the other one before. So no, your videos do not show that prove that the earth is not a globe. Not one bit. Not whatsoever. And I've shown that the Great Circle flights do indeed exist. If you looked up these flights, they do do that. Because it's impossible to hide these from you, because you can look out the window. And you'll see that you've, you've got grave errors here in your understanding of what you think is going on. Again, you seem to think that also when you fly on a when you fly on a sphere that you're flying up all the time and arcing, but no. The entire time you are staying level to the ground, and thanks to gravity, the one thing that flat earthers love to ignore and love to disprove because of buoyancy and density, which doesn't work that way anyway, you know, is thanks to kinetic energy and potential energy the the plane will rise and fall, rise and fall, do that as it goes around, and it'll basically, near intents and purposes, keep level flight. So, you know, there we are. And this is my take on that video once again. Um, on one of these videos, I'd love for him to do more because it's full of errors and full of problems. So, I know this was another long video again, I do apologise, but... Uh, I'll try and uh, make my videos a lot shorter and sweeter next time. I don't earn any money from these videos, so that's hardly the case why they're longer. So, that's certainly not the case. Alright, so, I'll see you again for some more videos in a new time. Uh, if you have to leave comments down below if you find any more videos that I can uh, look at and um, try and debunk or try and explain, I will do my best, to the best of my knowledge and the best of my abilities. Thank you very much, and good night.